Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today on Friday, finally! Woo, 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 woo! Just, we're just it. a little happy. A little happy about the upcoming weekend. We hope you are yes. also. We made it. Uh, <laughs> that's, hey, that's my line. <laughs> we are, uh, I'm still refusing to wear real pants. That's right. where we're at. All right. All right. Today we're going to start with some pop-up questions. Okay. And hopefully we will answer them throughout this video. Okay, the first one. I'm yep. going backwards, and there were some more on YouTube that I need to catch up on, but the Johnny Was dress and the Vanessa dress that we sold mm, at the beginning of this week, I think? Yes. The Johnny Was sold for $98.99, and the Vanessa dress sold for $49.99. I neglected to tell you all that, and I'm sorry. No. Oh. That's how much they sold for. Uh, there was a comment that you're always in a hurry. You need to slow it down, buddy. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay. He's, um efficient i would say that we make a good team because i'm more neurotic and if he gives me too long then i will obsess <laughs> okay how long does summer slow down last oh lord what a question um we you want to answer any of this uh it, it kind of depends um but on average six to eight weeks ish right I don't know where he's coming up with these figures. However, I think that's pretty much, basically it's all of June and a little bit of May, all of June and July. So from Memorial Day okay, till, so you know, till the middle, uh, for us, this is our, our numbers. Normally we start picking up at the end of July and that's stuff like book bags, school supplies, shoes, new in box, um, jeans, fall stuff. Coats, all of that stuff starts moving at the end of July for us. Which, we, which we are going to be rapidly approaching. And that's what somebody, that was the second part of the question. Hey. What do we do to prepare for it? And we list stuff like that. Yeah. Stuff that you would buy your kid to go back to school. And these kids in high school, they're like in this retro Y2K 90s situation. Maybe I should be listing this. Hey, yeah, that's been hanging there for a while. So Let's you could list, done. you know, like, you know, kids clothes, but some high school kids be looking for stuff too. Okay. So just think about, I don't know, think outside the box. Okay. How often do we get returns? Um... You know, not that often. I don't know what our exact per, per return percentage rate is. I should have looked that up if I knew that was going to be on the test. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, a me, couple of weeks. Let me, let me check my spreadsheet. And then there was some question about, like, do we take returns? Yes. Do we have to take returns? You don't have to take returns, but we find that eBay ends up getting the return done anyway. People will... If you don't take a return, they will find a way to make eBay take that return. They will give you an in-ad, right. which is like they say it's not as described. And then you have to take the return, whether you take returns or not. So we just take returns. Yeah. It's just part of doing business. We don't get bogged down in it. Uh, we do not pay for free sh return shipping if it's for fit. Mm -hmm. But if it's something that we did wrong, like we listed it wrong or whatever, we always pay for return I just shipping. looked and we're averaging about four to six returns a month. According to my spreadsheet. What? Yeah. It's okay. not as... Is that more or less than you thought? Way less. Way less. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, Q4. We keep mentioning it. What are we doing to set up for success? And what do we mean by, like, preparing for Q... We do kind of mention it. Or, like, yeah. we got to prep. And then there's some new resellers that are like, wait, what should I be prepping? Right. And then there's even newer resellers who are like, what's Q4? <laughs> right. So Q4 is the fourth quarter of the year, which is the last three months. So. And, yeah, and that, that includes Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, all the things. Right, and which is typically the best season for retail and for resellers. We typically make 50% of our income in the last three months of the year, typically. So we are, hopefully that happens again, but we, our sales have increased dramatically. So if they increase twofold, that would be crazy, Yes. but that would be good. Uh, what should a fledging reseller, like a baby reseller do to prepare? Uh, what did we used to do? We would try to find stuff that was new at tag. Mm -hmm. So we would go binzing and thrifting and we have some flat rate thrift stores and not pay up for it, but just try to find a lot of new at tag stuff to load our closet with. We tried to find what collectibles. 
Yeah. Stuff that you would... So what I always say to people is the things that you... If you didn't know somebody that well, but you knew they were into something, like, what would you type into the internet? Like, Dale Earnhardt collectible, right? Or, like, giraffe gift. <laughs> I'm trying, you know, when you don't know, what do you do? <clears throat> right. One Direction shirt. I don't know. Like, your grandma trying to buy for your the, the grandchild, or you trying to buy for your parent, or... So we try to find stuff like that, that, and it does work. It does. Uh, we try to find like religious stuff, a lot of that stuff moves, and then also Christmas decorations. Whoa, that's a whole nother thing. Mm-hmm. Department Fifty Six stuff. We've never had anything sit ever. We sell it all year long. We actually are out, so maybe we should be looking for a Department Fifty Six decorations. Okay. Anyway, that's a good. That's a good one. Finally, where do we enter the cost of goods? We're gonna show you. I will stick around to the end. I'm going to uh, show you where I do it in Vendu. Yep. Also, somebody was asking about combining orders. Karen, I think, was asking about this. And we're going to show you that, too. Well, okay, then. Okay. So, we are going to start with Poshmark? Yeah. How many do we have? we got two on Poshmark and one on Mercari. All three platforms! That's right. So oh, we got to pull our stuff. Got, yeah, you're getting, like, way ahead, guys. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's, okay, let's okay, go. okay. Don't be in a rush, though. I got it. I got to. Mister, I got somebody coming for these G. Harveys. All right. Okay, ready? Ready. I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> 3640. <laughs> I really don't. Speedo. I know what that means. F and E. What's F and E? Oh, Frank and Ellie. They bought it. Oh, I counteroffered. 3640. Okay, 3476. Got it. Oh, that was good. I didn't know that they, they did that. Okay. Um, thirteen ninety. Thirteen Looking to okay. see what them. Okay. Um, that is a plush. Fifty-four thirty. Thirties MIA. Okay, it might have been a return, and you gotta figure that out, friend. Let me check in the old venue. What is it? Oh, I leave Fisher pants. I need you to figure out this whole inventory number. It's making me crazy. Freaking, freaking, freaking Eileen Fisher pants. We love Eileen Fisher pants. Don't talk about them. Like Fifty-five that. sixty-one. Thirty-four fifty-six. Thirty-four fifty-six. Okay. Okay. Uh, fifty-three thirty-two. Okay. Okay. Okay, the, I need a purse down. Okay, this which one? seasonings. <laughs> um, it is called number 4527. Oh, God. 4527. Yes. You already pulled the mug, okay. right? You pulled the mug? the seasoning? The seasoning is the... Um, Kingsford Garlic and Herb Rustic. Got it. Oh my god, it has a typo in the freaking title. <laughs> no wonder it's not selling. Oh my god. What Somebody that? didn't care. They were like, I need my You got the cat mug? Herb. Cat mug. Cat mug's right there. And then um, Snuggle Bear, the 15 inch one from this bin right here. Snuggle Bear. What's up, friend? Okay, and then uh, the Rainforest. 
Oh. Cafe plate number two is sold. Okay, and then um, is that the seasoning? Oh, one of the uh, uh, save the earth magnets in the cabinet. It says it's in the cabinet. It's in the cabinet. Fifteen sixty four. Oh, oh, god. <laughs> I see them. They're right here. Aha, lies. Oh, it's an A cabinet. <laughs> so one of these Save the Earth pins sold. I, I think you guys might remember us listing a ton of these. Yes. And I'm hoping that more of them start selling now. Yeah, this is the first one. Sometimes that happens. They get on a roll. The algorithm picks them up and then everybody's like, ooh. ooh. I didn't know I needed that until right now. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Oh, you got it already? Yep. Perfect. Okay, we're ready. So, we're going to start with Poshmark. Yes. Uh, we sold a bathing suit and a Frank and Eileen shirt. I did counter back, you know, they came in at 20, and I countered back at 34 with the Frank and Eileen, which was quite a deal, and then they took it, so that's really good. I haven't been countering lately. There is the Speedo. Uh, we should mention, we sold two things on Facebook. So, here's what happened. Yeah, here's what had happened. While we pack up this Speedo. This is just a Speedo bathing suit with polka dots. We've had it a really long time. And then it finally sold for $15 on Poshmark. We like to sell Speedo. It actually sells pretty quickly for us, to be honest. This one was an exception. But we are at the bins, and there are these gorgeous prints in these frames that were... I mean... Our bins just throws heavy house goods. I mean, like heavy, the heaviest things you can imagine into the bins. Like yeah. you can't even, and we knew it was good. There were like office chairs in the bin. <laughs> yes, literally. That actually happened. And um, so we were worried. There are these beautiful framed, and the glass was going to break. Like it was going to break. And so massive, like 36 by 40. Yeah, and they're huge, and they're just gorgeous prints, beautifully framed. And. Um, so Dan got them. We, I got one, he got one. We like carried them up and they actually let us keep them at the front, which is like amazing. Yeah. This is the Frank and Eileen Shirley shirt we sold. It's an extra small. So I think the size, a lot of people were asking, is it just the larger sizes? No. This one sat a little bit longer than the larger size, it but it did eventually go. I don't know whether it's because it doesn't have a pattern. Like some of the striped ones go really fast. I don't know, but yeah, sold for 34. So anyway, we, I think we ended up paying about 20 bucks for these. We just were rescuing them. And then when we got them home, we looked up the artists. And one of the, I can't, one of the, this is so cool. <laughs> one of the prints was from D.C. And it had the Capitol building in the background. And one of them was from Dallas. What are the chances? I'm from D.C. and Dan's from Dallas. Yeah, right. What are the chances that those two prints were together in the bins? Anyway, they're really large. And it's really hard to ship stuff like that. So uh, Dan joined a Facebook group and um, put them in there and said, is anybody interested? Anybody local to Dallas? The artist was local to Dallas. I should have said that first. So what's the artist? Uh, G. Harvey. G. Harvey. And so yeah, some lady's gonna come pick them up right down the street from our house yep. for 250 bucks. Yes, yes. And the frames are kind of beat up and she's like, I don't care. I'm probably gonna get them reframed anyway. But the, the prints are worth that much yeah. alone. Like if you were to go oh, online yeah, to buy sure. them, they're worth that much. And we just knew it. We're really quite good at buying art. I wish there was a way to sell it easier because <laughs> we have a lot of art that we buy, these like fantastic paintings, and they're sitting in our house. One of them you used to see in the back of our videos. We actually hung that one up in our house. But if we would sold it, it's from an art gallery in London, from the Saji Gallery. Both of us have a, a knack for it, don't you think? I think so. It's really weird, and we ended up finding them a lot. Does this work? Or is this a no-go? That is no-go. It's a no-go. It's a no-go. 
Anyway, I'm gonna put that in our sales because we bought that at the bins and with average cost of goods that day, you know, whatever that was. And then I'm gonna split $250 up. And this is Facebook, it's not even Facebook Marketplace. It's like an off, you know, it's just like a private, private yeah. transaction, which I'm super stoked about because I just didn't want those to go to the dumpster. They were too gorgeous. And what do you do with that big stuff? Shipping a picture frame is hard. I mean, a big one. The, the glass always breaks. Like, do you need a, do you need a backup? Got it. Okay. I'm just so excited to tell them about our, I love when sales like that happen. You know, that aren't normal for us. Yeah. Because I always want to think about alternative ways to make money and sell stuff. Okay, this is a little Mercari. This is a coach purse with a little mini um, wallet that goes with it. I think my mom gave me this. Just listed that. Yep. And then someone on Mercari offered um, seventy dollars. I want to say seventy bucks. Seventy nine dollars. Seventy nine. I'm gonna write that down. Wow. Pretty great, actually. It is really great. That's the kind of stuff we would be buying or asking relatives for, for Q4. Purses, anything you would get for a gift. Jewelry, watches. I'm going to keep thinking of it. Yeah. Those kind of things. Toys. We sell a lot of toys during that. Playmobil, Lego, those kind of sets that are in the boxes. Uh, we used to stock up over the summer at clearances. Like right now, go to Walmart and Target. We're not very good at that. <laughs> so now we just look for those kind of things at the thrift. And sometimes we find stuff. <clears throat> this is the time to go look for the Department 56 of the thrift, though. I'm telling you, they put Christmas stuff out already. Yeah. I've, yeah, a lot of it. It's okay. Okay, so now we have a bundle from Naomi. Yay! Naomi. Thank you. And this Thank is the so cool, much. this is one of my favorite things in our entire inventory, y'all. <laughs> this looks just like Jeremy, I swear. It really does. Except not the same colors, but his face looks like Jeremy. Yeah. Look at this. This is a famous cat painting. Do you guys know this painting? Oh my God. <laughs> this is a mug and it has the little butterfly inside. I love this so much. Hugo. He 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 let, me, let me make sure you're in focus. I don't know. And anyway, this is going to go in. I think we're going to try. What size box should we do? So Naomi bought this. No, not this. Not this. Naomi bought $13.90 and $55.70. I need it. I need it. A little. Where's the baby one? Thirteen ninety. What's thirteen ninety? Oh, I didn't tell you that one. Oh, you didn't hear me. yeah. Okay. I'm having an issue. I don't have baby wipes over here, and I, I'm just really uncomfortable about what? it. What? What? I just had some. I don't know what you did with them. I'm going around. You handed one. I thought you handed me one. Am I losing? What's happening? You're losing your mind. <laughs> Just, I just want to make sure it's nice and clean. Naomi, we really appreciate you. We appreciate everybody that watches, actually. Some uh, brand new pants. I love these pants. These are Lane Bryant New Attack, but they have this beautiful lace overlay on them. That's really nice. And we've had them a while because the pictures didn't... Naomi, you're going to be surprised about these pants. <laughs> uh, the pictures didn't pick up how beautiful they are. Because it's like monochrome. Yeah. But aren't they really pretty? Let me they show really the camera here. Bring it into the camera. So bring it in. See. Bring it in. Bring we know how in. to do side light, so we could have gotten this, but can you guys even? They can't. Even, oh, they can see it now. You can kind of see it. Yeah, they're beautiful. Um. Anyway, we pick up almost all Lane Bryant if it's new tags. I find that brand does better for us than Corrid, to be honest. So we pick it up. Pick it so up. So we have that, and then. Naomi also bought the Lucky Brand cardigan that we just listed two what? days ago, maybe? I think it was two days ago. Yeah, that big boy right there. And it is has a hood, oh, it has a belt. Super, super cool. I would love that. If this was my size, I would have kept it. And it is also new with tags. Maybe she's buying gifts. I don't know. Um, because you could wear it in your house kind of like a robe, but you could also wear it out and not look like you were wearing your pajamas. I'm all about those like double duty situations all about it okay do we okay, okay. what's happening um, first of all we need to figure out that size box is going yeah oh here's a whole new little piece of 
I don't know if this is going to help you on the inside. Probably not. For the inside of the mug? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as helpful as I thought it would be. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to figure out the box situation. Well, this is going to be over for sure. Yep. Go to California. Maybe a regional A um, in the other, in this direction. That'd be tight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it won't, won't work on that. It's not going to work in that box. It's going to work in... Do we have a regional B in that? I'm not sure if I have one in here. Okay, we're gonna figure this out, guys. We're gonna figure it out. Yes, we are. Oh, this one might be good. Okay. I'm thinking about how tall it will get. Presented. It needs to be a little bit tall and a little bit wide. It also needs to be a sturdy box because it has something breakable. Correct. So all the factors. Oh, we don't need a double walled box. That's what we need. Excuse me. Sir. Sorry about that. Sorry. Get all the thank you stickers. Tender. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get some of the arrows. Dan is going to town. these the boxes that are like really thick love them okay so that one maybe just go on top you're gonna be too tall be too tall okay, that's, need, that's double bubble double bubble we need to put a little yeah, just put a little air pocket or something I'm trying to get to something. <laughs> something is not so easy to get to these days Look. I always try to have one hiding in there I know, you can use it on you guys. I have one. Here's, here's a big something. Oh, that's, that's nice. Something. That's perfect. Then you go in, yeah, you gotta tuck it. You gotta tape it, you gotta tuck it. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's nice. Nice. It's gonna get their safe and sound. Yes, it is. Okay, and so when we pack up this, I mean, when we go to put in the order, we'll show you how to, whatchamacallit? Combine the shipping? Combine them. Yeah, because that was a question. That's a good question. Yeah, there was also, I think it was a two-part question. This, oh, was it? Yeah, this was something about combining shipping and something about combining payment. Um, the only way I know how to combine payment on on the seller side is if your buyer doesn't pay immediately, you can send them an invoice and combine all their stuff that way. Otherwise we have to get a refund. Yeah. Otherwise the buyer has to, has to, has to do it on their end. What's happening? Is that the lady? No. What? I don't, I don't have my number saved. Do you have the lady's number saved? Yeah, I've been texting with her, so it should say, and it's a local number, and that was not a local number. Mm -hmm. What was I saying? Combining, oh yeah. Uh, the buyer has to do it themselves. They have to put all the stuff they want into the cart, 
and then check out instead of buying each thing individually. Mm-hmm. It's a little difficult on eBay. It, it is. It's easy. not. It's not the most intuitive mm. or user-friendly thing. All right, that's nice. There we go. Okay, let's weigh this puppy. Three pounds. What does it say? Oh, 12 ounces? Mm. Three pounds, 12 ounces, and then we need the, the um, what are you doing over here? I'm making a ticket for the lane brine pants. Okay. So I need to put the measurements here. And I always kind of overdo it just to make sure. Like I was saying yesterday, we just overdo. Like I'm putting nine for that, it's not quite nine, but. Yeah, I absolutely do nine for that. I know, I was just yeah. telling him. Let's see, five. Five. Okay, since it's over a pound, we need the dimensions of the box. That's why we're writing them. Okay, we good? We are good. I got it. Thank you. Okay, the next thing is the Snuggle Bear. Snuggle Bear. I knew these were going to sell. I'm very happy that they're selling. I'm... I got it at the Denver Bins. I yes. got three. And this one Look at is... this guy. Who doesn't ah! love a snuggle bear? And they're new tags, the Russ. Uh, okay. This is... I think it's less than a pound, for sure. Yeah. But he needs some... Whoa, he's, he needs... Oh, smells <laughs> a little floral. Uh-oh. Smell a little like snuggle? Smelling smell like lot grandma. Of, a lot of like snuggle. Smelling like grandma. Oh. Holy moly. Here he goes. Hands packing them in. No fit in here. Oh, yeah. We've got to cut that down some too. It's way too tall. I don't think we need to. Oh, yeah. You right. You right. We didn't order tape. Oh. Okay, so since it has a tag, it's kind of big. <laughs> I thought, because like I didn't recognize that you were going to smash him so much. Fold his legs and stuff smashed. in. smash. Not really. Huh? Not really. That's... He's compacted. Compact. It's a little box. That might work, actually. I like to use that box. Huh? Talking to myself. Oh. Yeah, I think that'll accommodate. Okay. So he this snuggle bear sold for $33.96. Plus four ninety nine shipping. Excellent. He's from the Denver bins. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, hang on. We do need to cover this old. Yeah. Ground label. Five, six, one. Snuggle bear. What's next? Okay. Flaps. Oh no, how far over? It is. Point four, point three. Ay, ay, ay. All the flaps gotta come off. We could ship this in a bubble mailer. We really could, but it's just not how we want to do it. Sorry, I'll do the Eileen Fishers while you're doing Thank that. you. Five, five, six, one. These are Eileen Fisher pants going out for the third time. Third time? If these come back, 
We're taking They're them down. They're getting retired. We're never relisting them. They are going to get retired. I'm going to take off all these stickers. And um, something must be wrong with them. Like, as far as fit goes. I don't normally get returns on these. And... So these sold this time for $43. And I do take it out of Vendu Danda's when... So it's not reflected in our um, sales. The return money comes out. Yeah, so when they... Yeah. They only get counted once in the yeah. monthly numbers or yearlies, whatever. Yeah. What do I do with the tickets? There was no ticket. You don't make tickets anymore? What? Um, sometimes. But I update the price in Vendu, which is, I don't know, not good enough. I'm sorry. Hang on a second. I'm having... I'm right in the middle of this. Wax. Well, give it to me to weigh. I like to see how much they weigh. All right, let's see how much we've saved. Here you go. While I retape. These are all... Where did I get these flaps from? I took them from both oh. sides. Oh. <laughs> Flaptastic. This is a whole ounce point one. All right. 1.1 1 .1 ounces is what I was trying to say. Wow. What you do, people. <laughs> Not paying extra shipping for us. Okay, so these Eileen Fisher pants are going out and they weigh, I can always weigh them, 15 ounces like always. The next thing is a Ted Baker sweater that we have had for a very long time and it's a good piece. I just don't know that Ted Baker is doing that well anymore. 15.2. There we go. I know, right? Last time I'm pretty sure I called out Teddy B. Looking at you, man. Not this doing is a Ted, well I don't want to take it out because it's black. But it's a it's a really beautiful women's Ted Baker sweater. And it's sold for $30. Okay. That's decent. I still need a ticket for these Eileen Fisher pants. Coffee. Thank you. The number is 5561. 5561. There we go. Okay, another Rainforest Cafe plate. This is for a birthday. It says happy birthday on it. We sold two of these. It sold for 804. It's made of plastic. It doesn't need much. You want to um, bubble mailer it? If it'll fit? Should fit. It's only 10 inches for the big one. Killing me putting these up here. I'm sorry. Killing me. Oh! <laughs> Maybe bubble mailer inside a bubble mailer. It's melamine. It's like that really hard plastic. I hope it doesn't crack. It's not going to crack, right? I think so. You want to double mail it? Yeah, double mail it. That's what I said. Okay. So that's sold for 804. And it's very lightweight. You're going to see when we weigh it. It's going to be like nothing. Double bubble. Double bubble. Freaking out, man. Uh oh. Right. This is a Scotch and Soda Amsterdam Blau polo wow. shirt. Uh, it's a really beautiful polo it's shirt. Nice. It's it's men's. It's over thirty two twenty six plus shipping. It's nice. Yes, it Navy. is. Navy. Um, I hope somebody knows. Scotch and Soda is also a hard sell. I don't know why. 
but uh, Scotch and Soda and Ted Baker have been hard sells for us recently, but they're still the highest quality things, you know? I don't know why. I don't either. And anyway, we, where's the ticket? It's right yeah. Wow, $12.91 for that. You must have got it for you. I paid 12 bucks for that. Uh, no, I think it was one of those situations where I thought it was better at the, <laughs> where I found better comps and then they disappeared. You know, you know that phenomenon? Uh huh. Okay, the next is a magnet. Magnet! This is from Disney World 2012. So if you're ever getting junk bags or grab bags, don't overlook things like this that look like nobody wants this, right? Who's who's going to want this? Um, having it, I'm having all the calls. Oh, no. It's from 2012, and it's just a Disney magnet. But people do collect things like this. They sure do. And this is actually quite valuable. It sold for $21.77. Nice. And if I hadn't have looked it up, I just wouldn't have listed it, right? I would have been like, oh, okay, it's just a magnet. No, yeah. you can make good money. Like, I just learned from a Facebook friend that Disney makes holiday pins. Mm -hmm. And now she is, the, she is obsessed and wants to collect all of the Disney <laughs> Hanukkah pins. She's like, must have. Nice. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, twenty one seventy seven plus shipping. That's amazing. That is really, really awesome. All these little things. Got to get a little bubble nose. After we just gave them all away. Uh, so funny. But we are going to run out anyway. Okay, so the next thing is this garlic and herb spices. <laughs> we have a ton of these. I really need to look at the listings. I don't know what's going on. Make sure you're not selling selling expired food on eBay. They're really cracking down. Cracking down. That's gonna get crushed in a bubble and explode, right? Yeah. Bubble. Oh, hey. that's heavy though. We got to put back in there. Two it. ounces for the magnet. Mm -hmm. Seven ounces for this thing. I think it was just one, right? Didn't say anything. It should. Yeah, the listing is just for one. So this sold for $10.40. We got these at Big Lots. We're really not good at this. Have I mentioned? I almost left the price tag on it. Sweet. It would have been super awkward. Yeah, and I think, I don't know if they paid shipping on that. I'm not sure. I could have put an air pocket or something in there. I'll put it back in there. Yeah, I don't know. Are you any bonus? Tiny box, let's go. Seven ounces. Okay, the last thing is this little Save the Earth pin. A little pin. And we have a bunch of these. I love. Where's the ticket for this? Uh, put I, it on. No, the spices. Oh, I don't know. It was two fifty. So anyway, this is Save the Earth, and it's vintage. And you know that these pins are vintage because of the back like this. It looks like it could stab and kill you. Yes. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you know what? I have these. Let me get one of those. What are you getting? A little pouch. A little pouch. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Good. And then I bought some of these things. So, I don't know if you can nail it. You know, these boxes. Well, let's see what we're working with here and find out. small boxes. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. We've got these flaps. Yeah. Okay. So this sold for $10 plus shipping. And we have like 
at least 30 of them, if this not is, this way is more. true. So if they all sell, that's a lot of money. There you go. There you go. Love the flaps. I'm going to save them because they come in handy for stuff like this. <laughs> do not like that because it moves around. I hate that. No. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, where's the um, ticket for this one? Right here. Okay. Do you want to go? You want to stop the camera and go do your thing and then come back? Oh. Oh. Lord. Uh, what do you mean? Go deliver the artwork. Is it in the car already? No. Yeah, you gotta. We gotta stop. All right. We're gonna stop. He's gonna go deliver the artwork. It's just well, right she down said the street. She was gonna text me when she was close. I know, but you still gotta put him in the car. Okay. I mean, okay, whatever. If she doesn't mind, if you're a little late. Yeah, I mean it's right there. I just gotta go right there. Okay. So you wanna walk people through how to? When you combine it, um, you're just gonna have to talk it because you can't show it Naomi's address and stuff. Right. So when, yeah, when you first pull up the bulk uh, buy label screen, if you have any orders to combine, it'll there's gonna be a link at the very top left hand side of the screen that says combine orders per buyer, and then it'll tell you how many in a big orange uh, circle. So in my case, I have two. So I just click that, and then it combines them automatically. And then all I have to do is input the weight and dimensions of the single package and buy the one label. Yay. That's great. Oof. What? Seventeen fifty. Oh, it's because it's not. It's heavy. Yeah. Well, she paid a lot of shipping. Oh yeah. She oh, covered yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, with room to spare. So okay. We can do refund. It's being glitchy over here. Uh oh. Yep. Hello, bro. Oh, you just left Molly naked face down. Goodness. Sorry you have to stare at that. <laughs> this looks unkempt. Um, what are the dimensions of that double bubble with the plate? Oh, it's, why? It's going priority. Why? Because that's what they paid for. Okay, it's 11 by 11. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I think we should try that more often, like getting in Facebook groups and trying to sell stuff directly to people that want it. It's a lot of work, but when you have stuff that's big, a lot to manage you know because you're always on facebook trying to oh, what yeah i'm just saying oh man because of being on facebook gives me anxiety having yeah. to respond to all the messenger requests yeah well i'm just talking about the groups right now oh uh, yeah it's different than marketplace for sure yeah yeah marketplace we've all given up on it not i mean all but given up is what i was trying to say okay you ready here's yep. naomi's Here is the snuggle bear. Finally, for sure, 5561. Um, 
Ted Baker sweater. Ha! Ah, really on there. <laughs> This is the Rainforest Cafe plate. This is Scotch and Soda polo shirt. And this is the Disney magnet. Everything on your label needs to be scannable. So you have like a little thing like this, you gotta. You gotta just make sure it's scannable. That's all I'm doing here. There we go. There we go. This is the spices. Okay, and the pen. Got my scan form. Yeah. Thank you. Gonna and load up the car. Load go, it up. Go to the post office and sell this. Sell the artwork. Yes. And then we'll be back to find out what the profit made. numbers. Hi. Hey. So. What okay. happened? Okay. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to show you how we put in the cost of goods. So we write down our cost of goods, like, in on these tickets, right? Right. <laughs> You're all of in here. Yeah. This one's not a good idea. This one's not good because it was free. That one was free. Okay. Frank and Eileen signature crinkle shirt. This is our inventory number, and then four ninety nine was our cost of goods. Okay. And we don't pay tax. And then here's our sale price. Here's the fees, which is this plus our shipping discount on Poshmark, and then shipping I put Posh, which means it's zero. And then here's the profit, 2049. Nice. So in Vendu, I'm going to show you because I have one listing to put in because we just sold the paintings. Yes, we did. So our average cost at the bins that day was about a dollar and two cents. So here I made a uh, in-person sale detail thing for here's the brand G Harvey. They sold for two hundred fifty dollars. The cost of the items, we had two of them, so it would have been one oh four. That's where we put in the cost of the 204. goods. I mean two oh <laughs> two oh four. That's where we put in cost of goods right here. Cost of item. Marketplace fees was nothing, and shipping was nothing. And then I just saved that sale detail, and that's going to be two hundred forty seven dollars of profit. Boom! Gotta love it. Yeah. So let's look at our what we made today. Yeah. So including that, yeah, 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 woo, yeah, woo, yeah, yeah. Woo. Okay, so like, <laughs> if you take out the uh, $250. 247, excuse you. Excuse me. Okay, so we did um, 250 minus, oh, oh, minus 204. That was how much we made. So then minus 527.88. So it was 279 profit. Yeah. So, so over our goal. Even so that's why I was making sure we met yes. our goal. Yes. We sold 15 items, technically, well, 16 because it was two of them. But right. anyway, that brought our sales price up. When I did this before adding that, our sales price was at 32, Ooh. which isn't the best average sales price, but it's still pretty good. Um, I can't recommend selling locally enough. <laughs> Can you, s I mean, it's just it's like, very rare that we do it, but, but we should do it more is what I'm saying. Right. We should. I really think we should do it more. And we have a garage full of stuff that we could definitely sell locally. Yes. Yes, we do. Thank you very much for hanging out with us today and all week. We really do appreciate it and catch us live tonight at 7 30 PM central on the other channel. We'll be listing on eBay and the link is in the description down below. Bye. Bye.